Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I'm going to tell a story. It's a tale of woe, I should say. Um, so cue the sad music <laughs> when I tell a, a sad story about how I lost a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds, can you believe it? A thousand pounds is a lot of money to lose. Um, so it does make me a little bit sad, but uh, hey, it's only money, isn't it? So, how did I lose a thousand pounds? Well, Keep watching and I'll tell you in a minute. Well, in less than a minute, probably a couple of seconds. <laughs> now, if you watched my other videos, you would have seen that I bought a CYC X1 Pro Gen 3. I've said that name a few times <laughs> in the past. Uh, so a CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 mid-mount motor that is post supposed to be capable of doing 5,000 watts. Now, if you see my other videos, it blew up. Here we go. 20, 25, 28. Whoa, we're making a funny noise, eh? Oh, we're making a funny noise. We've got something wrong here. <laughs> Why am I laughing? It blew up, right? <laughs> you've got to laugh, haven't you? If you don't, you know, you've got to find the funny side. So it blew up, right? and then CYC sent me a brand new motor. Now, how did I lose a thousand pounds? Well, I tell you what, it's starting to rain. Let's jump in the shed a minute and I'll tell you what happened. Right, okay, then here I am in the shed. A little bit rainy and windy outside, but anyway, jump in the shed, a bit more quieter. Uh, but now, before I go any further, uh, I'm, giving a, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel. So if you haven't seen it, and you want a super, super, super bright torch that can go on a bike, or you can carry it, and it's a rear light as well, and they're, they're quite expensive. I think they're over a hundred and odd pound together as a unit. I'm giving them away for free, so go back on my last video if you haven't looked, and you can win You can win the torch by, all you've got to do is say, put a comment in below, but it's only to, I can only send it out to the UK, okay? So anyway, go and have a quick look at that if you haven't had a look. But anyway, let's get back to the tale of woe. Ooh, right? So, I don't know if you can see behind me there, um, a bit dark, but down there is uh, my 72 volt uh, 20 amp hour battery that I was using with the CYC motor. So I've still got that there, but the CYC motor has gone. It was sitting on this shelf by you, you can't see it, but this shelf, but there, <laughs> but there, okay. Um, by you, <laughs> did I say by you? Yeah, but there, that shelf by there, right? It sat there since it blew up on when I put it on the other bike. Now, if you haven't seen, go back and look. Uh, the CYC motor, it blew up. It went kaplowy. <laughs> the, the magnets came off and it, it damaged the motor and the motor burnt out. And CYC sent me a new motor. So, they sent me a new motor and you think that would be, you know, fantastic. But it wasn't. Okay, so what happened next was uh, I started having quite a few comments coming through on my videos about what I've talked about, the CYC motor. And quite a few people have started saying that they've had similar problems where the magnets have come off and they've broken. CYC is sending out uh, replacement motors quite quickly. But then I'm thinking, oh... This is quite a common fault, isn't it? If more people are having the same fault, it's quite common. Common. So I had the new motor, and I put it on the gearbox and everything, because uh, the motor is separate from the gearbox and the controller. Uh, so they just sent me a brand new motor. And like I said, it sat on the shelf for a good few months. I didn't do anything with it at all, because I'd sort of lost the the drive to go and put it on another bike. Um, and... The thing was, the guarantee is going to run out in about two weeks' time. Now, I did do a video, I did a short video, shall I do a giveaway of the CYC motor? And only three people replied and said yes. <laughs> Not a giveaway, sorry. I said, shall I do a raffle um, of the CYC motor? Uh, because it'd only be like £2 a ticket or whatever. That's what I was thinking in my head. And then if quite a lot of people did the raffle then I would be fine and they'd only pay £2 for a, <laughs> a CYC motor and it it might last a long time on a 48 volt battery but it didn't last on my 72 volt battery with 3,700 watts-ish in it. It didn't like it at all. It went poof. <laughs> so, so I started thinking, 
what am I going to do? If I put it on a new bike, is it going to break down again? So that was my dilemma. So after a bit of an and an and I thought, what am I going to do? I don't want to put it on the bike again because it's just going to go pop or something. So in the end, I put it on eBay for £375 um, and I was totally transparent. I said on the eBay advert that the other motor broke down. It went poof. Uh, they've sent me a brand new motor. I haven't used it and I offer no guarantee whatsoever. So it's up to you if you want to buy it or not. Um, I put it at a very cheap price uh, because I didn't want anybody to be ripped off if it goes wrong with them. Yeah, I don't want them to lose a thousand pounds as well. So somebody did buy it, and I think after eBay took their fees because they take a lot, didn't they? I think it was something like three hundred and twenty-eight pound. Uh, that's how much I got for the motor <laughs> after after thirty-nine miles. <laughs> So that's how much I got back. And after I, after looking at the cost for the motor and the 100mm spacer set I bought for it as well, I lost a £1,000. So there we go. That's my tale of woe. Now, like I said, other people have emailed me and talked about the CYC motor and it's broken down for them as well. They've had a similar problem. Now, it's not loads of people, but it's been quite a few. So... If there's anybody out there who's had bought an X1 Pro Gen 3 and they've done, let's say, 500 miles in it with no problems, type in the comment section. Tell me if you've had no problems with it because I wouldn't want to sort of go on about CYC motor being barred if some people have had good experiences as well. And it's just me and a few people because that would be a bit naughty, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so if you've had a good experience, tell me with the X1 Pro Gen 3. And if you've had a bad experience, tell me in the comment section, because it's good to know, because uh, CYC, it's obvious, obviously there's a problem. My, my, my false teeth nearly fell out then. <laughs> I haven't got false teeth. CYC need to know is a problem so they can address it and fix it. Um, because, you know, it went poof for me and it's gone poof for somebody else. So there we are. I lost a thousand pounds. What do you think about that? So, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.